Yeah, you know, we were talking, Sissini, earlier about the non-fitness, non-dietary, non-workout resolutions. And yeah. you gave some good ones. Regular sleep patterns, getting organized, build a budget, drink water, get yeah. hydrated. Mm-hmm. Can really help. So have, the, have you come up with one of your own? Um. Yes. So it's more, I don't know. I guess it's kind of just like acting out my re resolution this year. Um, and that is to not forget 2020. Because I think I know it's easy for us to be like, what a terrible year. Let's forget 2020. But I think that last year is something that we should always remember because all the little things that we took for granted, concerts, going out to dinner, mm -hmm. hugging our parents, hugging our grandparents, all that stuff. I'm going to get emotional because I just think it's like important for us to remember that once stuff does get back to normal and it will, that we don't forget 2020. You know what I mean, we don't forget how we felt in those moments. And then hopefully it makes us grateful for all the little things that we have in our future. Yeah, some of the simple pleasures that we didn't realize could be taken away from us. We took for granted. They were taken away. Yeah. And you yeah. realize that the one thing you can't go out and find and get and work for and earn is time. Right? I mean, time you just you can't once it's once it moves by, once it goes by, yeah. you can't get it back. And yeah, what you do exactly. with that finite amount of time is really your choice. Mm -hmm. That you can choose. Because there there was still a lot of positive for me last year. And the fact that we were able to work from home had me here for many milestones for my kids that I would have for sure missed mm -hmm. because I would have been so busy working. So I take all those silver linings and I, I'm grateful for them. So I just don't want to like, I don't want to forget about 2020. I feel like it was a very significant year for all of us. And we should not take the little stuff for granted anymore. Tanya, did you come up with a specific resolution this year? Um, it's not a specific, it is very specific, but it's not like an action. So for me, I have been reading a lot of self-help books and the through line that I'm kind of gathering is that the true like key to happiness is being present. And I've learned that I live my life on this is happening next week, or this is happening this weekend, or I have this coming up at the end of January, or this is coming up and I live my life in the future so much that I'm really, really trying to be in the present day more um, and not worry about even tomorrow or the weekend ahead. And that's really hard for me. And I'm trying to practice that on a daily basis. It's hard for me too. Well, that, that I, I, I didn't, you know, I was, I, I didn't really pick a resolution this year. I was asked about it a hundred times and I just never really came up with one, <laughs> but I, I find that always hard for me too. And I think it's part of the way we're trained to like for, to work. Uh, I'm always yeah. supposed to know what's next and what's coming up and what we're going to do after this and what's in the next hour yeah. and what's at this. And like my brain gets like that and it spills into my real life too, where it's okay. We're watching this now, but what are we going to do after? And then yep. when we get up, we're going to have coffee, right? And after we have coffee, I'm going to get my bag. I'm going to get my tea. I'm going to go in the car and I'm going to go to work or I'm going to stay here. I'm going to go to the mm -hmm. room and I'm going to do the show. And after the show, I've got to get my workout and have my workout. But it's like, it's a, all right, Tony, I'm going to steal yeah. yours as well. Thank you for that donation. <laughs> <laughs> well, because my mom this year, because we had, we celebrated Christmas. I was in the front lawn of my parents' house because my mom had COVID and we were on FaceTime and it was, it was really sad. And she was like, next year, we're going to do Christmas up and we're going to do this. And I go, you know what? I don't want to think about Christmas next year. Let's think about tomorrow. Although your mom right does get me excited when she talks about doing Christmas up. Like <laughs> yeah. that's kind of exciting that right be? now. That's a problem. Um, 